What's up everybody, here with a new story time video. So this is the Tale of Chevron Guy. So, about a year ago, every week I'd walk about a block down to the Chevron by my house and buy a soda pot, maybe some Mountain Dew, Code Red, some Kickstarter, I don't know. I'd get a fountain drink, you know, fill up my big mug. And every time there would always be Chevron Guy. Always him. That was his legal given name, Chevron Guy. He worked at the Chevron 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He also lived in the Chevron. He he, he was Chevron. And then, uh, one day, I walked down to the Chevron. I'd always go, like, once or twice a day. And uh, he knew me, like, uh, and I realized, I get there, I fill up my drink, go by, I realize I forgot my wallet. And Chevron guy had my back. He's like, no, sweat it, bro. Just pay me back later today or tomorrow. Next time you come by, you come here all the time. Like, it's all good, and then he buys my soda for me, and then the ne then I come back the next day, you pay him for the soda he got for me, and the one for that day, and I'm like, thanks so much, dude, and that's when I realized what a quality guy Chevron guy was, because he already was the guy I always got soda from, and then he had my back. Then uh, I'm out of town for a few days, come back, and I'm like, man, it's been a while since I've had some soda, so I walk down to the Chevron, walk in, fill up my drink, and go in. Chevron guy's not there, some other dude. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe Chevron guy needed the day off. And this dude, you know, and he was on the phone because he was a terrible Chevron employee. He was talking to his friend on his iPhone, and he was just like, oh, yeah, dude, I'm uh, working at Chevron right now. Uh, should try and do something later. I've got another shift at uh, the market after this, but uh, then we can try and do something. And I'm like, hey, uh, can I get this soda, please? And he's like, just a minute. I'm on the phone with my friend. And I'm like, uh, and I'm sitting here thinking like, dude, you're, work you're at work. I'm a customer I'm trying to buy things. You're making me wait. Then there's a couple people in line behind me at the Chevron. Guy's still talking on the phone about 10 minutes past. And I'm like, dude, come on, man. There's a line. You're just sitting here on the phone. And he's like, fine. And then, uh, and then he uh, uh, has me pay for my drink. And then he has people behind me go. And man, that's, that was just a bad experience. So I come back the next day. And I'm expecting Chevron guy. I'm like, okay, I don't know who the other guy was. He was terrible. He's Chevron bad. And then I show up. Same guy again. He's kind of rude, and that's the story of why I can no longer go to the Chevron, because they, they must have fired Chevron guy, and I just can't imagine where he, where he is right now. And Sorry, it gets me really emotional. And so, uh, that's the story of Chevron guy, and uh, what a quality Chevron employee he was. And how Chevron just uh, threw him under the bus. And, and that's all I have for today's story time video.